we're taking the hard line. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Take her and the others to the Ground Zero operation. Make it quick. Painless. No. Wait. Please! Please, stop! Please! Help me! Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well, uh... Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away, right now. You've three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. I'm still waiting to wake up. Beth Wilder risked blowing her cover to rescue you. Sounds like you didn't exactly return the favor. No. I didn't. Thanks for the good. Asshole. <gasps> the old industrial area. Why am I here? Only way forward. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I can manipulate their timelines. Rewind. Them. Jack Joyce's position very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. Focus efforts on disposing of those witnesses. Clear any trace of our involvement. Jack will come to us at the island tonight. During the gala? You're sure? Positive. Dispose of the witnesses.
Is this the last of the witnesses? No. The Reaper team's finishing up with the last of them in A3. Didn't expect to be leaving the university with a kill list. Why not deal with them at the campus? Too exposed at the campus to finish there. Had to move the whole lob here when things went south. Suppress him! Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks? If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm... No! Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this. And I'm gonna find... We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Take this through. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. Taxi guy. You drove me to the university. What is all this? They're killing everybody. Everybody from the university. They grabbed me out of my goddamn cab. Jesus. You saved my ass. How'd you get free? I'm still figuring that out. You motherfuckers. Keep fighting. Those are my last words to her. Sent chills up my spine to think I might have... We're not here to talk about Amy Ferrero.
Look, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know how to get there? Dry docks, uh, yeah, I think I know the way. Whatever you need, I got your back. It's a push. We gotta make it through that building to get to the dry dock. Thank Christ you're okay. What about that guy you went to see at the campus? Did he get out all right? No. Not exactly. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. We can't let them get away with this. The gate's locked. There's gotta be a gate doohickey around here. Oh, hey, the gate's open. Okay, uh, gate's closing too fast. Not necessarily. Oh, shit. You just... What are you, some kind of goddamn X-Man? That was... Okay. Don't panic. It's, um... Friggin' sick, man! All right. Not the reaction I expected. kind of crap existed. <laughs> Driving a cab, I need some stuff, man. Huh. Oh, I'm just glad you're on my side. I only know what my brother told me. Time is breaking and monarchy involved somehow. Is that another one of those rewind things? It's really not. Starting to get the hang of this. Hit. Made it. Now. Hey, don't forget about Mr. Serene's chopper is inbound for Clarice. Hey, you. I'm starting to get a little antsy out there. All right, where are we going to next? Oh, hey, there's a map over here. We can figure out the best route to the dry docks. Hmm, security's tight. We might have to head through that area called Ground Zero to get there. That's the exact area where my brother used to have his workshop. Your bro, you think he's connected to this somehow? I'm gonna find out. You should stay here for now. I have a feeling the next part's gonna get messy. Yeah, I don't do messy. All right, I'll guide you to the dry docks from here on the radio. Channel three. I'll open up the door for you. Deal. Keep safe. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Hasta! You there? Talk to me. Where am I going? That warehouse is split into two halves. Find the exit, take the alley to the other side, and let me know when you're there. All right.
Contact! Oh, great. Shotgunner advancing on hostile! Mother... What does that mean? What am I doing? Okay, security's down. Down? Uh, that was quick. On the bridge. Uh, uh, map says you're heading towards a storage facility for uh, Meyer Joyce particles and harvesting equipment. Joyce particles? This whole operation is based on my brother's research. Chronon levels will lower to a point that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. I'm curing the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the Sophia Emerald. Monarch's Hello. resident chronon scientist. Yeah.
Oh, she must know a lot of the same stuff Will did. Up and fire! Hey! Oh, oh, to go! Harvesting warehouse. It looks like there's no clear exit on the ground level. Head for the upper floors when you're ready. Close on harvesting process elevator. Hey Jack, I found a bunch of files here by your bro. Monarch started monitoring his workshop in 1999. They pressured him to sell in 2010 and set up some chronon harvesting operations surrounding the building. What was Will doing in there? Those dates, 1999 and 2010, keep coming up in these files. Here is where it gets scary. 2010 minus 1999 equals 11. Times 11 by 2010, flip it backwards, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Ten. It's not exact, but it's like a couple numbers off. Uh-huh. Keep me posted. It's real bad now. Okay. Bad. I got that, got that briefcase that you lifted from, from, from William Joyce's car. car. Laid out the right contents now. of the train. Which was the train? Go through. No, no. Serene wants, wants the first the look. look. To Len, hands off. It's going to be a body. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. There wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch got footage of some idiot accessing Facebook from a nearby security station. Please tell me said idiot isn't with you. Nick, I gotta go back for him. Don't. I'll pick him up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul at the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Close one. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting corner. Yeah, take a while to guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Stryker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. I recognize Will's workshop as soon as I saw the area. The area we refer to as... It was clear that the workshop was at the center. I wanted to see something that next to the building drive to the next to
Stutters. We knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Holy shit. And yet he never tried to stop it. Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. What the hell? What is this? What is, what this? is this? That already happened. What the fuck? I specifically requested copper clad Niobium. Well. There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but <sighs> he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Need my grant extended another, another year. year. Please, Please, don't do this. this.
I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. Almost there. Gotta get to Paul. There's something wrong with Paul. All right. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan. We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you. You are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. But we both know it did. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> Close, Jack. 
Jack. It's like a goddamn maze in here. had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. She scares me, Jack. My ride, my music. What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in this briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. What was your brother doing in this shithole? Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. I agree. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning the report over looking for you. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Hey, Nick, this looks a lot like your taxi. Can't be. I parked it way back at the... Holy shit! That's my goddamn license plate. How the hell did it get here? I don't know. I have a feeling somebody beat us here. 
This is all connected. Some kind of message. Think, not think. Zero, one, one, two, two. Zero, one, one, two. Numbers, teleporting taxis, math. What is this? Hey, I think I found a way in. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? Okay, May 17th, 1998. $12,000 moving bill. Conduct the first animal test must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. Mouse, you owned know, this place since he's gone. 1999? Shit. Why didn't you tell me, Will? Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. No wonder you were always coming come up with on. crazy shit. You're all right. Bobby Radford with the latest. We got an official statement from Monarch Solutions, and <laughs> it's just what you'd expect, really. You know, your typical slick, mealy mouth bullshit. Any luck in there? Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. About time. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. Stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. And the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the safe, empty. I just need to know you have it because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Hey. Is that? Yeah, I think so. <gasps> Second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. It's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I help them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. 
I'm not so sure we could do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. What the shit? I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. No, nothing I can make sense here. of. What is this? A goddamn spaceship? Okay, core controls. Where are they? Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. You sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will needs to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. I think the control doohickey's right here. Here goes nothing. Something's wrong with the machine. But we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's had a Cronin research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. 